All right, welcome back to At Home Crypto. I'm Alan. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to install Microsoft Windows 10. You can mine, of course, on pretty much any op operating system. We're going to also show, I've done one on Ubuntu. Um, that's what this is. But you're going to need one of these, although this says 2 gigs. You'll need an 8 gig um, thumb drive to download and create the ISO and boot into Windows. So keep that in mind, that's the first thing you need, a minimum of eight gig thumb drive. You're gonna plug that into your um, motherboard. There's four USB slots, two of USB two, and two of USB three. So we're at Microsoft.com. This is the first thing we have to do is get Windows. There you go. So we went to Microsoft.com, under software, drop down, Windows, Windows 10 on the next page, there get Windows 10 and one of the things I'm showing you with this is there's multiple versions of the Windows 10 depending on what you're running I'm already running Windows 10 but we're gonna install it on a different drive okay there of course you could buy a PC from them get Windows OS or check for Windows 10 updates today we need to get Windows 10 and you'll probably do this from a different computer there selected next progress downloading thinking okay so once doing that we're going to talk about which Windows 10 there's Windows 10 32-bit home Windows 10 64-bit home operating system and then also the Windows 10 32 or 64 of the pro version personally I recommend the Windows 10 Pro it comes with some extra features like virtual machine um, and as well as some different security features it's more of a powerful so you pay about twice that but you can do more with it. Um, I really recommend that uh, for pretty much everybody. There, so it's still progressing. Um, but of course, if you're doing this, you want the 64-bit. It's the latest and greatest. We'll run on anything, so that's what you want. And it's just progressing. And of course, I'm impatient, so <laughs> select next. Come on. Normally it would be quicker than this. Yeah. What is this. Are you looking to buy this for home or school or business? Say business so that it, you'll get the Pro. There. Windows 10 Pro. Includes all the features of Windows 10, including non-Windows apps, domain, remote desktop, which is a benefit, plus virtual machine. You can click buy now. Mm -hmm. Let's see, 179 before you can buy this special pricing. We need to see if you're an eligible student, faculty, or staff. So if you're a part of a school, you can get it for a bit for a little bit less, 20 bucks cheaper. There. But it's 199 and the Windows 10 home is uh, yeah, it says USB English. Add to start, choose your product. That's interesting. Go buy your own USB. I'm sure that that's, like if we were to add to cart, they'll uh, mail it to you. There, we're just gonna download now. Of course, wanting you to download There's Windows 10 Home. Let's see, download that's 119, but I really recommend there the Windows 10 Pro review and check out. Okay, so, you would want to check out there. You don't necessarily have to do this because you can actually download the Windows 10 there. Let's do Windows 10 download. Yeah, download Windows 10. Okay. Create Windows 10 installation media. To get started, you will first need to have a license. Using this tool to create the installation media 
which is what we're going to be doing. Some of the preliminary items you need to have where you want to install it, 64-bit or 32-bit. If you got the uh, processor that was that's in the links that we're using for this miner, that's a 64-bit. Pretty much anything you're going to get nowadays is going to be 64-bit. Language in Windows, Microsoft Office edition of Windows. Again, we're wanting the Office 10 2010 Pro is really what I recommend. All right. Attach a blank USB flash drive. It says five, but really it's eight because you're going to have to save the ISO file. After installation of the media is created, it's a good idea to save your work. Attach the USB drive, or if you insert a DVD, if you've been copied, copied to that, most people will use the USB drive. They're easy and cheap. Notice it says to open a boot menu. We're going to show this to how to get into the UEFI settings or BIOS, if you want to call it that, when we reboot this. Yeah, we don't need more download options. That's for like your enterprise. There, save the image. Okay. So this is basically showing what we're going to do. Mount the ISO file to a thumb drive. Let's download the tool. Okay, so it's click the download tool now. Save as there media creation tool. Just if you want, drop it into the default downloads. Okay, so now we can either run or open the folder. I'm going to open the folder. We're going to click, double click the media creation tool. Okay, install anyway. It's funny, this is a Microsoft tool. And it says it's not verified from the App Store. That's, we're running Windows 10 again. Okay. Do you want to allow this app to make a change to your device? Yes. It's a Windows tool and it's still asking us if we want to. Okay. Accept the license agreement if you want to. I would recommend this so you get to next. It's asking, do we want to upgrade this PC? No, we do not. It recognizes that there's Windows already installed. We have Windows 10 installed. Um, so, you know, what we want to do with this is create the USB drive because we're going to attach that USB to our motherboard. Next. Okay, select language, architecture. There, language is English for us. Windows 10, architecture 64 bit. flash that is shown on this. There. It needs to be at least 4 gig USB flash drive. There. Or the ISO file, you could burn it to a DVD. So let's save it to a USB drive. Next, refresh, removable drive, F, USB. Notice it was F, it's because I've got other drives in it. Now it's downloading. Feel free to keep using your PC. So what is happening, it's downloading to that USB drive. And it's actually just mounting it for us. Okay, well that's going on, it's downloading. There. I am gonna say quit. There, because we've already created our drive. If you have your USB drive plugged in, there. And let's say it already downloaded. Click start, and we're going to shut down. All right, remember our USB drive is plugged in. Remember, it has to be four. I recommend eight. There, so we've got that plugged in. Let's start our computer. We're going to boot it back up. I'm going to show you again how to get into the uh, UEFI when it comes up. And it tells you down here. I'm going to try to show you. We'll see it when it boots up. There, we hit F11. 
you would have seen it for a brief second there. F11 brings you to this menu. We're telling it now where we want to look, pl uh, plug it in. I'm sorry, where we want to boot up to first. The Realtek, that's our default Windows 10. That's one of the drives, hard drives. That's the other hard drive. We have Windows Boot Manager, USB, and USB. So let's do USB. The UAFI we don't want to do, it's the USB. USB disk 1100. And it's showing you Windows. thinking there. You'll see a screen like this, Windows Setup. Let me change this real quick, sorry y'all. I gotta figure out how to turn off that. I hope it's alright with you. That little, see right there, that circle. But Windows Setup, you can work around it. There. Windows, you're gonna see just like this. For us, we have English, English, US, everything is just the default we're in America install now this is going to ask you see it says setup is starting one of the first things it asks is where do you want to install oh it's asking us for the product key there right now I don't have a product key you can purchase one you have about a month or so there Windows 10 Pro 64, see it recognizes, or when we downloaded it, the 64, it's the only option you have. Um, again, you want to go with the Windows 10 Pro. The extra features, remote desktop, virtual machines, um, security, a lot of different things I think that uh, I really just recommend that. And if you're good, I'll, uh, with, you know, Linux, I'll show you how to install that in a different video. I like the Ubuntu Linux, but I'm going to also give a try of the EthOS see what I think about that. Which type of install do we want? Upgrade if it's already got Windows on it. You can keep all your files and applications and so forth. That's usually done if you want to repair a problem um, like a lot of blue screens. The custom install Windows only is what we want. You can make changes to the partitions. These are all of our different partitions. You can see, you know, because I've got multiple drives and OS is on it. I'm also running Linux and a bunch of uh, other OS's on these other drives like Windows 10 is on um, this one. I think my Linux is on that one. That's Ubuntu that I have on that. I'll show you how to install that on a different video. Now we're just going to install it on this 810 here. It'll allow us to there, hit new. We want to make a new drive on it. There. So what do you think? Five, one, two, three. Yay, sounds good. 125 gigs. Okay. We're going to go with this one, the 121. Notice again your drive zero, that's your hard drive. There. Drive zero or drive one. For us, we're using drive one to unformat it. Hit next. format it. Maybe that's, I thought I had it in the disk man when I was in Windows 10 and the desktop before this. So, let's see now next. I couldn't install. Why is it not letting us? Okay. okay so it's
hopefully you don't get this problem. So I'm choosing the format. Click the refresh. Yeah, that's interesting. And of course, I don't want to install it on you know, reserved or must be recognizing that we've got the yeah the recovery there. Never seen it give that error. I wonder if it's something with the way I formatted it. Alright, let's come back to this later. I'm gonna investigate and I'll finish this as a uh, part one then. Plus it's 16 minutes. This is good at the stopping point now.